To determine the melting point of a substance, one will need to perform a variety of steps which I will go through in the following presentation. The definition of a melting point is the temperature at which a solid becomes a liquid at atmospheric pressure. At the melting point, the solid and liquid phase exist in equilibrium. Because of this, the melting point is dependent on pressure and is usually recorded at standard pressure. At UTSC, the equipment used for this procedure is called the melting point system MP50. Prior to commencing any lab work, ensure that all utensils are properly sterilized and thoroughly cleaned. This will minimize the risk of contamination. Take a sample of your solid out of your sample bag that has been given to you by your TA. Using the capillary tube, obtain a small quantity of the fine powder by gently rolling the tube through the substance. To lower the substance to the bottom of the tube, either tap the capillary tube vigorously on the bench top or drop the tube into a long clear plastic tube and allow it to bounce on the bench top. Ensure that there is approximately three millimeters of sample within the tube. The MP50 machine will be turned on by your TA prior to the beginning of your lab. Press the method icon as has been instructed by your TA. Insert the capillary tube into the sample holder of the machine. Note that the machine can take up to four tubes at once. Press the start button and wait for the melting point to appear on the screen. You can view your capillary and solid melting on the screen of the machine. Record the melting point of your substance within your notebook and clear the screen by pressing the home button for the next student. After finding your melting point value, proceed to compare it with the documented known melting point values. This will assist you in determining what compound you have. Once you have the melting point and determine what compound you have, you can complete the analysis of the lab. From here, you can see if any impurities are present. If your melting point value is lower and has a wider range than that of the literature value, impurities are present. This can be due to experimental error that occurred while you performed your recrystallization. Ensure to note all experimental errors in the discussion of your lab notebook.